Welcome to Talk of the Town. I'm your host, Carrie Dillon. We have a new show coming up. These are our friends from the Art League of Hilton Head, Amy Werman, and we have Delaine Marinowski. So there's a new show that's coming up. You guys always have such innovative stuff going on, and, and this is like beyond innovation here. So Transcendence, an exhibit by the advanced artists of Allendale. Tell us what Allendale is. Allendale is a correctional institution in Fairfax, South Carolina. So they're inmates. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. They're all incarcerated at the moment, and they're all self-taught artists. How did you even f fall into this? Like, how did and you and you have an interesting history, which one would think that maybe this wouldn't be in a population that interests you. Correct. <laughs> um, I have a friend who's volunteered for eight years at the prison, and she was trying to get me to come to the prison because there's this wonderful group of artists that she has talked about. And I wasn't interested because I have worked with victims of violent crimes in the past and kind of felt I was on the other side of the fence. Sure. So um, I had some class, I was taking classes through the Art Academy and had some materials left over. So I gave them um, to Sharon and she took them to the prison. Yeah, well, I'll just donate stuff, that'll yes, be my part. Be, that's exactly <laughs> right, no hands on. <laughs> and um, the men wrote me this incredible thank you note. So I collected more materials from um, the, the Art League, graciously gave us some easels for the men and more materials, took them in, met the men, and then I was hooked. So you went? I went. And you met the artists? Yes. So it wasn't just a matter of like looking at photos of their work, like you went. Yes. What was that like? Um, in the beginning it was intimidating. Sure. And then I looked them square in the eye and realized that love is love. And love is a healing power. And I did not want to be judgmental of them. Yeah. I listened to them talk about how art has changed their lives and how hard they're working to become the men that they want to be on this earth. They want to be positive in this community. You know, I, I tell you, like, I, I'm sure nobody in that space and time right now had on their list of goals for life that they wanted to be incarcerated. Correct. You know, I think, and sometimes I think when people end up in situations, it, one of two things can happen you can get worse or this can really be a pivotal opportunity in your life absolutely. to be transformed yes. and are you you're finding that with art absolutely absolutely um, here's a, a quote from y one of the yeah men. transcendence so the name of the show is transcendence yes for the past 20 years I lived in a world devoid of color emotion and hope yet no matter how dark this place gets I found a way to transcend its limitations through art it's gonna make me cry you know, y'all know that I'm, I'm just an art. <laughs> art is a part of my world, part of my life. And now, what, what inspired you to go to take an art class? Is that something that's in your background? No, I just always wanted to, never had the time. Mm -hmm. um, and, and the Art League at Hilton Head has so many wonderful classes, yeah. so I'm totally addicted to the Art League. <laughs> <laughs> and now, this exhibit is not the norm for you all. Yeah, it's definitely outside of the norm. This is the first time the Art League has ever allowed a non-exhibiting artist to be a featured artist at our gallery. But when Delane uh, came to us with this, um, you know, opportunity Creative. yeah an opportunity that, yeah. we wanted to help um, so not only is it the first time the art league is doing something like this but it's the first time this is ha this type of thing is happening it, in the state of South Carolina. In the state of South Carolina this yeah. is groundbreaking Incarcerated here. men have never been allowed to exhibit their artwork it's outside wonderful. of the institution. And it's a voice you know yes. they're, they're getting their voice out and they're healing from it so now there there's an opening there's an opening in this show let me give you those these important information there's a reception yes. August 7th from 5 to 7 and that's going to be at the Art Center of Coastal Carolina and that's yes. where the gallery is yes. so will mm -hmm. the work be there at the time of the uh, the reception absolutely yes we have oil painting pastels watercolors pen and ink ceramic pieces and the men's work is incredible it truly is yeah now th this is also some of the the mediums that you're sending there they're not accustomed to working with some of those things but they have to do it anyway right and it is totally run through donations our <sighs> program 100% is donations. Can so. people bring supplies to the reception? Absolutely. Yeah. Bring your art supplies <laughs> to the reception and donate. This is a wonderful Absolutely, opportunity. Because the men are teaching classes within the prison now. Mm. So we need student grade supplies and we need artist quality supplies. And they, they juried themselves for this show. Yes, they did. So I imagine some of these folks are pretty prolific. I mean, they have they have access. They have ceramics in there. Extremely they talented. Talent. Extremely talented. And it yeah. is it's transformative. I mean, I, I I went to the Savannah College of Art and Design, and that's what I always tell people. My experience there was transformative. I didn't know yeah. what mm -hmm. could come out of me as an artist. You know, so this is such an important event, and and who knows what this could bring, 
nationwide. Yeah, it's all about transformation. It really is. So make sure not to miss this show. That thank you so much for being here with us today, thank and we will be right back with more talk of the town.